Uh, Brian says, so according to Chris Christie's principles, if fentanyl was legalized tomorrow, he would trust parents to decide whether or not to dose their own children. The man is not thinking clearly. That's one example that proves why Chris Christie's idea that we should trust parents and just say whatever if parents want. That's a decision for parents to make. I mean, there, there, that's one example that proves why that's a, an absurd idea. And it, it's a, it's a, he, he states it as a universal principle, but if you try to universally apply it, you run into absurdities like this. It's one example. I mean, this, it, there are millions of examples. So he's saying, trust parents. Parents can make choices. I mean, there's like literally millions of examples you can come up with to say, well, you wouldn't trust parents to do that, would you? What about this? What about that? What about this? Do you think parents should be allowed to do that? No, it's like there, there, are, there are so many things that we all agree parents should not be allowed to do, even if we believe in parental rights. So with, with any right, okay, there's, it's always, there's always a but. At, there is. There's always, a, yeah, we, we believe in that right, but... Because all rights are conditional. No, none of them are absolute. You can lose them. And, uh, and can you lose your parental rights? Of course you can. I don't know anyone, even the biggest ad advocates of parental rights, and I am one of the biggest, but I've never heard anyone that actually thinks that you shouldn't be allowed to use, lose your parental rights for any reason. Of course you can. Um... And unfortunately, there are thousands of parents every year in this country who do things that uh, where they lose their parental rights or should. And one of the ways that you should lose them is by physically abusing your child. And uh, there's no gray area here. Mutilating and, and sterilizing your child is obviously physical abuse.